said, I will therefore put you in remembrance, though you once knew this, and how that the Lord have saved the people out of the land of Egypt afterwards destroyed them that believe not. First off, I want to give all honor, glory, and infinite praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Kakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom, salutations to the hopeful elect that's fighting a good fight of faith and truth, sincerity, and wholeheartedly. Shalom unto the Akwath, which is the women believers. Shalom unto you. And, um, you know, the Lord is just putting us back in our rightful lot, man. So for the people who have, you know, no understanding of the book, the words, have no wisdom at all, they don't understand that, you know, is a thing called reincarnation. And that's why when you go to 1 Corinthians 14, it said that the spirits of the prophets is subjected to the prophets. So if you prophesying right now, you was prophesying back then. So that's why I said that the scripture said, therefore, I put you in remembrance. So people be wondering why we got the zeal, why we do what we do. Well, this is why. All right. First of all, we was programmed. All right. So this is not of ourselves. Otherwise, most people would do this because if they really knew what's about to happen to this place, they would snap into it and be like, hey, I'm going to do what, you know, the men of the Lord is doing. But it ain't meant for everybody. All right. So. And it said, but the comforter, which is the Holy Ghost. Whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. So this is why. This is why we believe the Comforter, the Holy Spirit have been sent down. All right. And we received it. Proverbs 22 and 3 said that a prudent man foreseeth the evil and hide of himself. We hide ourselves under the shadow of the almighty all right we hide ourselves under the wings of yahweh bashim yahweh shai because we understand that we need a savior we're not going to be able to be, deliver our own self so a lot of people don't get it and a lot of people ain't meant to get it you know i'm gonna get a scripture on that it's so many of them but the one i'm gonna get i, I really like all right so when people walk past the men of the Lord prophesying on the highways and byways, they just look at them like, oh, that's just an angry black person. That's just an angry Latino person. That's just an angry uh, so-called Native American person. All right. So-called Latino and black person. They just yelling. They don't look at us like we're speaking the words of the Lord and that the Lord is really dealing with us. That's why he said that not many noble are called, not many mighty. Because if he had a LeBron James, or if he had a Jay-Z, or if he had whoever you idolize, everybody would be lining up around the block listening to what he say. But that's why he picked the lowly to confound the wise, because he want the word to gravitate to you and pull you in, not a man that you idolize. The word gets the glory, all right? So... We do this because we was programmed to do it. All right. <clears throat> so let's let's back that up real quick. <sighs> they said, for by grace are you saved through faith that in that not of yourself. So you can't give yourself grace. You can't give yourself faith. That comes from above. All right. So that's why the scripture said that the just shall live by his faith and faith is an action word. All right. It's not just believing. It's what you do and how you conduct yourself in life. And are you following the words to the best of your abilities? Have you learned this word and now you learned it and you go out there and make your body a living sacrifice? All right. That's what you call faith. When you stand on something, and you proclaim it, not sitting behind a computer screen. All right. So anyways, and it say it is the gift of the most high. That's a gift. So faith and grace is a gift. That's why we believe. That's why we preach. That's why we make videos. That's why we make our body a living sacrifice. So for the people who can't get it, it's because the Lord didn't give you that spirit. All right. And 
You know how we, we so confident because we say, I know this is true. The reason we know that it is true because the Lord gave us a spirit to know that it is true. Even though the just should live by his faith, he didn't make us, he didn't give us, um, like he ain't lead us into something that we can't see ourselves. Because when you go to the parable of Matthew 24, the fig tree, all right, talks about like when you see the branches yet tender and about to put forth leaves, you know that summer is nigh. So the same way that when you see all these things talking about the prophecies, then you should know that your um salvation is near even at the doors. So that's why we see the prophecies. We understand the prophecies. It's plain as day. So for you scoffers that watch the videos, fuck you. All right. So and you're going to eat a missile. <clears throat> So this is, the, the, uh, um, my fact, I'm going to read it. So it say, who have put wisdom in the inward parts or who have given understanding to the heart? So that's what you got to ask yourself. Just because you can't get it, the famous scripture, Romans 3 and 3. What if some did not believe or that make the faith of the most high with none effect? God forbid. All right. For man, let God be true and every man a liar. So. You have to understand that just because you don't believe or you don't understand something, that don't stop the truth. That don't stop the word. All right? And you got people who really believe that. You got people who really believe that, man. Oh, this damn crook in my neck. Mm. <clears throat> And to say, in thy counsel, who have known, except thou give wisdom, and send thy Holy Spirit from above. So that's how the men of the Lord knows. That's how the men of the Lord have faith, and he see the things that's coming upon the world. All right? Because it came from on high. Matter of fact, another scripture to back that up. And it said, John answered and said, a man can receive nothing except to be given him from heaven. So that's that counsel. That's that Holy Spirit that give you understanding of all things. That's the comforter. All right. That comfort us. So when we go out there and we preach or we make sit downs, you got to understand that we're not just speaking from a dark place. We speaking from the oracles of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right. This is not no, you know, everybody think this is a game. Everybody think this is about showing how much knowledge you got. It's way bigger than that, man. The precepts is what supposed to, you know, give you understanding. So that's why, you know, sometimes it sounds like a broken record because now we in the times where the scriptures that we used to read years ago is even more relevant now. All right. The karagma, that's what is needed to be talked about. All right. Revelation 13 and 16. That's about to come to pass. Martial law, Jacob's trouble. That's about to come to pass. All right. You see what's going on over there on the Ukraine border. You got the you got the NATO and the EU and Russia. They poking at the bear. All right. We all know about Ezekiel 38. Ezekiel 38 prophesied that Russia going to get in your ass, America, and you so-called Jewish people over there in Israel. All right. All, all these things is happening. All right. This is a beautiful time to be alive, especially if you're in your right mind. All right. And I just want to get another um, example of, you know, the reason that we believe and do what we do is because the Lord gave this to us, man. <sighs> and it said in Solomon. Oh, and, and the Most High gave Solomon wisdom and understanding and exceeding much. And largeness of heart, even as the sand that is on the seashore. So the Lord is the one that give you wisdom and understanding. It's real simple. All right. So if you can't get it, it's because the Lord ain't dealing with you. That's all. So, like I said, this video ain't meant to be long. This is just on my spirit. Because, you know, you got a lot of people who talk shit and don't know what the hell going on. And it says, for Yahweh give of wisdom out of his mouth come of knowledge and understanding. How did you get this truth? From another man of the Lord 
that the Lord gave the spirit to and you heard his words. All right. And then you got edified and then you end up increasing learning because the scripture said that the most high give the increase. And the scripture said that a wise man will increase learning. All right. Matter of fact, let me get this real quick. So this is how you got the truth, man. And people thinking that they actually hate us, but they really hate the Lord. Because listen up. Hear, he that hear of you, hear of me. He that despise of you, despise of me. He that despise of me, despise of him that sent me. So it's a pecking order. All right. If you hate the prophets, you hate Yahweh Shai. If you hate Yahweh Shai, you hate the Father. So you got people who saying you ain't supposed to worship Yahweh Shai. Okay, we're going to see how that work out for you. Then you got people who talk shit against his prophets. All right. and But you but you believe in Yahweh Shai, but you talk a shit against the ones that he sent. So that don't make no sense. All right. Matter of fact, what is that scripture? Oh, I don't remember this scripture, but please, please, please. Is it one? Come on, come on. I haven't read this in a long time. Yep, yep, yep. He suffered no man to do them wrong. Yeah, he reproved kings for their sakes. That's talking about the prophets, man. All right. And the kings is about to be reproved. Esau, Edom, the so-called white man and the other confederates of them that came together to conspire that the um that the name of Israel be no more in remembrance. Psalm 83. Y'all going to get reproved, man. Saying, touch not my anointed and do no and do my prophets no harm. So that either talking about physically or verbally. All right. So you thinking that um, you, you a wise man. And you want to call us bums and things like that? Well, we're going to see who have the last lab. I don't even got time to argue with y'all retarded ass mother effers. All right. But um, but I just want to um, end it on these last scriptures right here. Because this is why we do what we do. Why do we believe? Because the Lord programmed us. Daniel answered and said, Blessed be the name of the Most High forever and ever. And wisdom and might are his. So for the people say that we don't know the name, I guess you call in the word of God a liar and the men that the Lord put the spirit on a liar because forever and ever is forever. OK, and he changed of the times and the seasons. He removed kings. He set up kings. He give of wisdom unto the wise and knowledge to them that no understanding. He revealed of the deep and secret things. Surely the Most High would do nothing except he reveal of his secrets unto the prophets. Amos chapter 3 and 7. And to say he know of what is in the darkness and the light dwelleth with him. All right. So this is why. This is why we go on the highways and byways. This is why we do sit downs. We're programmed. This is why we in season, out of season, no matter if it's cold, no matter if it's hot as hell. All right. The Lord is the one that guide our steps. He is our savior. He is, matter of fact, hmm, hmm, I got two more. Yep, that'd be a good ones to end it on. So, for anybody who want to take credit for the works that you do, okay, that's not the one, but that is a good one. That's a good uh, scripture for Esau. I think it's, might be. Yeah, it might be 10 and 23. And to say, oh, Yahweh, I know that the way of man is not in himself. It is not in man that walk of to direct his steps. So the Lord direct your ass to the camp. He directs you on a sit down. The Holy Spirit rests on you. You do a video. It's not because of you. You ain't shit. All right. So. And, and I'm going to end it on this because this is why we believe. All right. Because that's what this video is about. So it says, but there is a spirit in man and the inspiration and inspired means to breathe upon. All right. The Lord have breathed his Holy Spirit upon us. That's why we able to receive this word. And the inspiration of the almighty give them understanding. So that's why we believe. That's why. So that's what you have to understand. We do this because we're programmed. So for the people who want to talk shit, want to scoff, it's okay. 
Have your time. Have your time. The Lord is going to burn you with fire. All right. So hopefully this video was edifying and shalom.